watching closely as Tropical Storm Cristobal uh, pushes toward the Gulf Coast. You know, everyone living in the path of the storm has been told to take all necessary precautions. We've been through this drill before. You know, have a few more hours before the storm is expected to make landfall. Jonathan Hunt, he's on the ground live in New Orleans where uh, the Mississippi could potentially crest and there's always the fear of flooding. Hi, Jonathan. Hey, Eric, the rain has been coming down for more than 12 hours now, pretty consistently. We're in something of a pause at this moment, but that the rain is expected to be coupled with the storm surge that will come along with high tide later tonight. And you talk about the mighty Mississippi. There it is right behind me there. And we're expecting the eye of the storm to pretty much come up from the Louisiana coastline right across very close to New Orleans later. But the residents, as you said, of this city know what to do. They've been out boarding up their properties. They've been putting sandbags out, uh, prepared for anything. And a lot of them say, in this city, you just have to do it. It's all about getting ready. Listen here. I'm going to stay here and see what's, when it's over, come back to my normal duties. Water, uh, food supplies, and med medicine, and... Uh, try to provide my animals with everything what they need. I've been working on my generators and everything, trying to make sure I got power on the power well. And Governor John Bell Edwards issued a warning on Twitter today asking everybody to stay, as he put it, weather aware throughout the day, even if we get moments like this where the rain has eased. Also associated with this storm, Eric, uh, is the possibility of tornadoes. And one, again, associated with Cristobal, actually hit in the Orlando area yesterday. Thankfully, no serious injuries associated with that and as you come back to us live here in New Orleans iconic Jackson Square I can tell you that the National Guard is also on standby they have 88 high water vehicles available and 35 boats should flood rescues become necessary so uh, it, and it's not just here in New Orleans obviously as well Eric this is a large storm uh, it's stretching right along the coast of Mississippi Alabama the Florida Panhandle all of those areas under under threat from flooding and what may be most dangerous is if this storm stalls as we well know if it slows down if it sits over the coastal areas then the threat from flooding becomes much greater so while we're in a little bit of a lull now eric nobody is letting down their guard eric